Hey everybody, it's Miss A. So today we are going to read a fluffy book. Look at all these fluffy books. I'm so excited. They're on this website called Epic. You can see it up here. It's called Epic. And I've made a um, account for our class. And so I'm really excited for you to log on and start looking for all these books. So today we're going to read Fluffy's Spring Vacation, and we're going to use the same skills that we used yesterday when reading Peter Rabbit, and we're going to think about the beginning, the middle, and the end. So here we go, Fluffy's Spring Vacation. Fluffy the Brave. Who will take Fluffy home for spring vacation? asked Miss Day. I will, said Emma. But you have a cat, Emma, said Miss Day. Fluffy would be afraid of a cat. Wrong, thought Fluffy. I'm not afraid of anything. Well, I have two cats, said Emma, and a dog, but they're old. All they do is sleep. They won't hurt Fluffy. So Fluffy went home with Emma. The brown cat is Jack, Emma told Fluffy. The orange one is Jill. Nice kitties, thought Fluffy. This is Skippy, Emma said. Woof, woof thought Fluffy. That night, Emma and Fluffy had a tea party. Then Fluffy went to sleep under his straw. In the middle of the night, Fluffy heard a noise. He opened his eyes. Four big yellow eyes were looking at him. Yikes, thought Fluffy. I'm having a bad dream. But it wasn't a dream. It was Jack and Jill. Don't mess with me, cats, said Fluffy. Jack patted the door of Fluffy's cage with his paw, and the door opened. You're asking for trouble, said Fluffy. Jill poked her paw into the cage and pulled Fluffy out the door. You'll be sorry, said Fluffy. Oh no. Jill picked Fluffy up and carried him into the living room. She put him down on the floor. I have sharp teeth, Fluffy told Jack. Jack showed Fluffy his sharp teeth, though. I have sharp claws, Fluffy told Jill. Jill stuck out her sharp claws. Okay, cats, said Fluffy. Look out. Fluffy ran at Jill, and he jumped at Jack. He ran and jumped and growled. Fluffy, whoops. Fluffy did not see Skippy come up behind him, but Jack and Jill did. Their eyes got very big and they ran away. I told you not to mess with me, cats, Fluffy called after them. Then Fluffy turned around and he saw Skippy. Don't be afraid, Skippy, said Fluffy. I scared the cats away. That's kind of funny. I think that Fluffy's the one who, or Skippy's the one who scared those cats. Fluffy did not know how to get back to his cage. So he followed Skippy to his bed and lay down beside the dog. Wake me up if the cats come back, Fluffy told Skippy. I'll take care of them. Then Fluffy the Brave fell asleep. Chapter 2, Fluffy the Explorer. I'm going to get a haircut, Emma told Fluffy. Dad says you can come too. Why, said Fluffy, my hair is just right. Emma put Fluffy in a shoebox, and off they went. They walked into Sandy's haircuts. Will you watch Fluffy? Emma asked. Sure, said her dad. Emma went to get her hair washed. Her dad sat down, and he put the shoebox on a chair. Then they started reading. Fluffy sat up. He looked in the mirror. He saw so many guinea pigs. Fluffy climbed out of his box. Follow me, pigs said Fluffy the Explorer. We will go where no pigs have gone before. Fluffy saw a mountain. He started climbing. He went up and up, but the mountain started shaking. Earthquake, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Hold on, pigs. <laughs> it's not really an earthquake. The earthquake tossed Fluffy into the dark. We must get out of this cave said Fluffy the Explorer. Follow me, pigs. Fluffy jumped out of the cave. Just in time, too. The ice is slick, 
said Fluffy the Explorer. Watch out, pigs! Fluffy led the way over the ice. What's this? thought Fluffy the Explorer. It was a big silver thing and inside was a monster. The monster started to roar. Jump, pigs! cried Fluffy the Explorer. Fluffy jumped down. But the monster was after him. Run, pigs, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Run for your lives. Fluffy ran under a big rock. Emma showed her dad her short hair. Then she picked up the shoebox. Dad, she cried, Fluffy's gone. What, said her dad. Emma dropped the shoebox. Fluffy, she called, where are you? You're Fluffy, called Emma's dad. Fluffy saw that the monster was far away, and he saw the shoebox on the floor. Follow me, pigs, said Fluffy the Explorer. He ran out from under the rock and jumped in the box. We did it, said Fluffy the Explorer. Good work, pigs. Man, he really used his imagination in that one. Emma came back and sat down. She looked in the box. Fluffy, she cried, where have you been? Oh, it's a long story, thought Fluffy the Explorer. Chapter 3, Fluffy Shows Up. Good night, Fluffy, said Emma. Tomorrow we go back to school. Fluffy went to sleep, but in the middle of the night, again a noise woke him up. Jack and Jill were back. Not again, thought Fluffy. Jack opened Fluffy's cage and Jill got Fluffy out. But this time, Fluffy took off. Fluffy ran out of Emma's room. Jack and Jill ran after him. Fluffy raced down the hallway. Jack and Jill raced after him. Fluffy zoomed around a corner. He heard the cats behind him. Fluffy saw a bag by the front door and it was open at the top. So Fluffy ran and jumped into the bag. He peeked out. He saw the cats run by. <laughs> thought Fluffy. Then Fluffy found a soft place inside that bag and fell asleep. Oh no, looks like the bag is actually a briefcase. What's going to happen? The next morning, Emma cried, Fluffy's gone. Not again, said Emma's dad. I have a big meeting this morning. Emma's mom said, I have a plane to catch. Go on, said Emma's dad. Emma and I will find Fluffy. Emma's mom kissed Emma goodbye. Don't worry, she said. Fluffy will show up. He always does. Then she picked up her briefcase and ran out the door. Oh no, it's her mom's briefcase and she's getting on a plane. <gasps> Emma's dad drove Emma to school. What will I say about Fluffy? Emma asked him. Say that Fluffy will show up, said her dad. He always does. At the airport, Emma's mom waited in line. Then she put her purse and her briefcase on the x-ray machine. She walked through the gate. Stop, a guard told her. You can't bring an animal on the plane, ma'am. An animal, said Emma's mom. What do you mean? The guard showed Emma's mom the x-ray, and the x-ray showed Fluffy. Emma's mom took Fluffy out of her briefcase. What are you doing here, she asked. Mm, beats me, thought Fluffy. So what's for breakfast? I'll be back, Emma's mom told the guard. She ran outside and she waved down a taxi. Driver, she said, this is Fluffy. And she told him what happened. Oh, leave Fluffy to me, ma'am, the driver said. At school, Emma said, Miss Day, I have something to tell the class. Okay, said Miss Day. Emma walked to the front of the room. Uh, she said, this is about Fluffy. Meanwhile, Fluffy liked riding in the taxi. Faster driver, he thought. But Fluffy wasn't in his cage, Emma was saying. Hey, look, called Wade, a taxi. All the kids looked out the window as a taxi pulled up in front of the school. The taxi driver came into Miss Day's room. Uh, here's Fluffy, he said. I uh, hope he's not late for school. <laughs> Fluffy, 
said Emma. You did show up. I always do, thought Fluffy. So it looks like that's the end of the story. And the cool thing about Epic is that it looks like there's a quiz that you can take as well. We're not going to do that right now, but I do want you to fill out the worksheet below and tell us what happened in the, in the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. There were a lot of things that happened, so if you want, you can talk about one chapter instead. Okay, everyone, I love you. I hope you have a great day today. See you later.